Today, we're searching for Australia's best known frog. Do you know what they are? I'll give you a clue. They're green, they love to live in trees, but they also love to live in toilets. That's right, we're looking for a green tree frog. And look, it's raining, perfect frog weather. Now, these are the quintessential Australian frog. When you think of a frog, you think of this frog. They're big, they're green, and they live around us. Now, these frogs are found around most of the population centers on the East Coast. They go all the way up into Queensland, across the top end into the tropics, right the way west to Broome. And they're not too fussy about where they live. They like water and they like people, like me. So we're gonna go and try and find one today. Green tree frogs are nocturnal. So finding one during the day is gonna be tricky, but I have a fair idea where they hang out. They really love a rainwater tank and a nice cool downpipe. Now, green tree frogs, they love some standing water and a water tank is a great spot for them to hide during the day. Nice and cool and moist. Ha! <laughs> you won't believe this. There is a tree frog in there, but it's a Perrin's tree frog. They're very common around houses as well. Now, drain pipes and anywhere with good acoustics are their favourite places to hide. You see, they like to call during the day and when they call from a drain pipe, it makes them sound much, much bigger. It really amplifies the sound they produce. No, no, no frogs in here. Uh, no frogs here. There's a snail and ants and... Hey, hello. Well, not the target species, but have a look at this. This is a big mummy huntsman. So you can see, here's mummy here. She's huge. But look at all these little babies. There's not too many. There's, there's probably some more hiding. You can see them moving around. And this is their egg sac right here. So these huntsmen, they have tremendous maternal instinct. So she has laid those eggs and made the egg sac and then she has stayed with it to protect it from anything that might want to eat her eggs. And just recently, I'd say, all these little babies have hatched out and they're just hanging out with her. Okay, back to work. We're looking for a tree frog. As well as drain pipes, they really like any other kind of tubing or anywhere there might be some standing water. So one of their favorite places is a toilet. Let's go check out this one. Now. Why are we looking at the toilet? <laughs> uh, good question. Now, toilets are lovely and cool and moist. And that ticks all the boxes for a green tree frog. We've just missed them. Like I said, it's quite hard to find them during the day. But I've got one more place to check. Now this is a frog hotel, and it's a purpose-built house for frogs. It's got all the things they like. This bucket, so it holds water, so the frogs are able to stay nice and cool during the day. And each of these pipes is like an individual room for a frog. And each one will be slightly different, and they can choose the room that they like the best. And now, I'll just have a quick look and see what we've got. No one there. Oh, how about this? Out you come, little fella. Look at this. This is a beautiful little green tree frog. What a cracker. Oh, so lucky to find these. Now, I'm going to handle him. So, I've got an assistant here to pour some water over my hands. Got to wash your hands if you're going to touch frogs. Here you go. 
very gently. Now these frogs are very capable jumpers. He's got these beautiful long legs and they can leap at least a metre, which is very helpful when they need to cross a gap in the canopy when they're moving through the trees or escape from a predator. They have quite a lot of predators, snakes, lizards, birds, all want to eat a nice green tree frog, which is why they hide during the day when a lot of their predators are active. You can see his throat is pulsing up and down, up and down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's jumped onto me. <laughs> Come back here, you. You can see his throat's going up and down, up and down. You can see his little nostrils are twitching. That's him pulling more air into his lungs because he's not quite sure what's going on. This isn't his favorite thing to do. <laughs> he never wanted to be a YouTube star. <laughs> the other thing you might notice is you can just see this little disc on the side of his head poking out. That's his eardrum. They use that to listen, just like you and I. We're back in the lab and we've left our little friend up in his room at the Frog Hotel. We didn't want to bother him too much, but we're very lucky to have friends of Henry's Wildlife, Justin and Lawrence. They've lent us their pet frog, Jumpy. And out you come, Jumpy. This is Jumpy. And I know, he's dark green, almost brown. He's not a green tree frog. Well, he is. See, these frogs are amazing. They're able to change color. They have little pores over their back, which detect light. They allow the skin to change color to roughly match the surroundings. It helps with their camouflage. And Jumpy here has been in a nice dark piece of pipe in a covered box so he doesn't get too stressed. And that's why he's turned dark green like that. Now, let's look at Jumpy. Have a look at these amazing webbed feet. Now Jumpy, you just hold onto my hand. We can see that Jumpy has some beautiful webbed feet. These webbed feet and webbed hands help him swim. As frogs, they spend a lot of time in water and even though he's a tree frog, he needs to be a good swimmer. Now, Jumpy is an adult frog. He's probably about as big as he's gonna get as a male green tree frog. And we know he's a male because like that other one, he's got a discolored throat from calling and he's got black nuptial pads on the inside of his thumbs. And those nuptial pads help Jumpy hold on to a female if they ever mate. You can see here, just on the inside of my thumb here, the inside of his thumb is black. And it's something to note that frogs have four toes on the front and five toes on the back. We can see now that Jumpy is gradually becoming paler and paler. Now he's been out in the light for about five minutes and I would expect him to become a lot more bright green in the bright light. Jumpy has one other secret weapon. This big gland on the top of Jumpy's head produces a whole lot of different chemicals which make Jumpy taste disgusting. Now I would give him a taste but no, I won't, I won't. It'd be horrible. When they taste as bad as they do, all predators have to do is have one taste and they'll often just spit out the frog. I don't know about you, but I think Jumpy is one of the coolest amphibians out there. Look at him. Anyway, that's all for us today. So, until next time, stay wild. I'm out in the bush searching for stuff and I need you to search out the like and subscribe button for Henry's Wildlife. Stay wild.